Good morning, everybody. We're in the workshop today trying to find the answer to a question someone asked me on YouTube. We know that the ADJ Mega QA Go, which is a battery powered power fixture, has a maximum power draw of 28 watts. That's if you've got all four colors on full blast, it's a 28 watt power draw. But what it doesn't tell us is anywhere in the description or specifications or manual is how many watts is the power draw from the wall when you're charging the fixture? Well, since I didn't know the answer to this question and nobody else seemed to, I went ahead and went to Home Depot this morning and I picked up this Kill O Watt. It's a little unit you plug into the wall, and you can plug anything into it, and it tells you how much power it's drawing. Okay, so here's a Mega QA Go right here. It says the battery power is at 99%, so it's almost fully charged. Here's our little kilowatt. Let's go ahead and plug in the IC cable and see what the power draw is. What we have to do to figure that out is not only plug the shoot it in, but we also have to leave the battery on and turn the load off so it's in charging mode. As you can see right here, it's flashing, it's in charging mode. 3.3 watts. Let's try something a little different. This Mega QA Go I've had on all morning. It's like noon now. The battery was at 80%. Now it's at 29%. So let's see if it makes a difference if the battery has less of a charge in it. Let's see if the power draw changes. So what we have to do is plug the IC in, turn the battery on and the load off, which I've already done. And let's see what we got. All right, looks like 27.6, 27.5 watts. So from that, we could draw the conclusion that the max draw from the wall during the charging state is about 28 watts as well. But just for fun, let's run the battery down a little more and see if that changes. Now, would you believe it's 4 o'clock? This thing's been on for 4 hours, and I've only gone down 10% on the battery time, which is super bizarre. But let's go ahead and see what the power draw is here. So, what I have to do is make sure... Okay, the battery's on, the load's off. That's what I've got to do. Now, we take our IEC cable, plug it in, and see what our power draw is. Twenty six point five. I think it's safe to conclude that our max power draw, even on charging, is less than twenty eight watts. Now, just for fun, I turned our other light on around two o'clock, so we have a battery now of seventy two percent. It was ninety nine percent last time we checked in. Let's see what kind of wattage it's drawing on charge. Again. Turn off the load, leave the battery on, and plug in the IEC. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Now we're at 12.6. So what's the power draw during charge on these fixtures? Well, it seems like it varies, but it's no more than 28 watts, which is what the fixture consumes in the first place. It gets less the more you charge the battery. So there you have it. Science experiment for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. It took all day. I thought it was only going to take a couple hours, but it did take all day. But was it worth it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.